Hello and welcome back to the V4 Quick Startup Tutorials. In this one I'm going to tell you a bit more about how to upload media and what you can do with the new options inside there. So first of all go to the media manager from your main menu and you can see on the left hand side are your folders and your library. If you have multiple systems they will all appear here on the left. Just click on the folders to see what content is available. If you have some content you would like to map to a particular folder, you can create a multi-selection by simply clicking on them and then dragging them onto a free slot. As you can see, it's added them in the order that I've clicked them on. If you want to replace a selection, say you want to replace the first clip with this one, you can just drag over the top of it. Please note this is non-destructive and merely references. I can now go back to my mixes and use the content mapped like so. So here you can see all the banks that are available. Okay, let's go back and upload some new content. For that I'm going to create a subfolder by right-clicking on the root. If you right-click on the new folder created you can rename it. I will call this My Media. The next step is I can choose between upload individual files or uploading whole folders. So we're going to select a few files first. I've got a drive full of stuff here. So let's go and go in here. I've got some clips here. So let's create, take the apples. The If I press now control and click, I can select more than one file. Down here are some additional options like if they contain alpha, if you want the audio to come with or if you want to set an expiry date. Click open and it will add them to the upload queue. It's this little icon here in the bottom. It'll start creating this green glow that goes around while it encodes media. You can see the pr one that's been processed will always be at the top plus other tasks waiting to be completed. Okay. Okay. It has finished the task and as you can see it then appears in your folder in the library. So these were MOFs that I've included. Let's add an image sequence. In order to add an image sequence you browse, uh, not there, you go to the first image or N image in an image sequence. The system will then detect that it's part of an image sequence and ask you, ooh, would you like to import it as, a, as images or as a video? Well, we want this to be encoded as a video. It's now added again to the queue. So you can carry on working as normal while it's encoding. It will take up resources, of course. So if your, if your playback becomes slightly unsmooth, that is quite normal. If you have uh, large libraries to import, you can use the Upload Folders function. In here, you select whole folders. For example, um, it's very useful when you have got multiple uh, image sequences. So, for example, here I've got, say, I want all these files contain image sequences. These folders contain image sequences. I want to load them all. Shift click does a multi selection. And if I now select those folders, it asks me for each one how I would like to encode them. I want them as videos. I click five times. Now it's added them all to the waiting queue list. As you can see, it asks quite a lot of times about this. If you go onto the right here, the little cog, this can give you this gives you the um, media settings dialog. So in here, I can, for example, change the default setting for the upload. If I set it always import image sequences as video, it will only record them as video. I can also set the default frame rate for uploaded image sequences. The default is 25. Plus I can also limit the resolution in here. If I've got very large files coming in and they eat up too much resources, I can downsize them here. Copy host before encoding will copy it onto the local drive before encoding. Uh, by default this is off which will save time during encode. Okay, let's see how our media is doing. Okay, I've got the three MOF files and the image sequence. I can now go map this to a new bank. Great. 
and now I can use my newly uploaded media. The last thing I want to talk about is the different codecs. We've got four codecs at the moment that you can choose from. MPEG-2 is the, the legacy codec used by the um, uh, Hepatizer V3 engine and it's fully backwards compatible. FlexRes quality is the, um, the, uh, the first edition of the FlexRes encoder. It provides ultra high quality but also has a certain amount of overhead. FlexRes Performance is a brand new hardware accelerated codec which works on similar principles to um, HAP or other hardware um, performance codecs. We recommend using FlexRes Performance if you want to get the maximum number of um, 4K clips or HD layers or FlexRes Performance high quality if your quality is critical um, as with FlexRes Performance you sometimes see certain artifacts. Please um, look at the extended written startup guide and uh, watch the forums for more information on this. Please note that FlexRes Performance high quality does not support alpha but the FlexRes Performance codec does. I hope you've enjoyed this little tutorial. Um, please do get in touch if you have any more questions and happy media uploading. Goodbye.